What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and welcome to Bass Tone Tuesday. Today we're gonna take a look at muting techniques. On a previous episode I went very in depth on the topic of palm muting and we're gonna repeat it briefly here just to summarize all the muting techniques out there or some of the most common ones but we're gonna cover that and also left hand muting and some other muting techniques that are your disposal. So for, for palm muting we use our right hand and we use like I said the palm of your hand like this part the meaty part at the edge of your hand to place it I personally place it just in front of the bridge saddles. That gives, for me, the best balance of dampening and note content. If you put it too close to the pickups, you've choked the note out. If you put it too far back, you don't have any muting. So let me demonstrate real quick. This is behind the bridge saddles. You can even put it properly like that. Um, and that's not muting anything, it's just because I'm attacking the string with a different part of my finger. If I place it like too far ahead, like between the bridge and the pickup, it's too choked. If I put it too far behind, I'm not dampening at all. Right in front of the bridge saddles. That works for me. And I also throw in my, my index finger for some accents and stuff like that. Now, that would be the, probably the most common way to dampen the strings. One very effective way to do it as well, which Rocco Prestia of uh, Tower of Power made very popular, is to use the left hand. And for that, let's say I'm fretting a D with my index finger. I have the full sustain there. What I want to do is wrap the other fingers and just place them lightly on top of the other strings so that I'm still being able to fret with the index but all the other ones are covering the strings. That gives me this sound. What that enables you is that you can play very fast with your right hand. But it limits you a little bit in the ability of how fast or where you can move with that technique. Because you only have one finger. You can have two fingers if you also mute with the, you know, these two and fret with the middle one. That still works, but you're not as free as, you know, you had your old your fretting fingers and it gives you a different tone as well so if I fret like this or palm mute it is definitely different so you can experiment depending on the situation which one of the options is uh, better for you and then there's one thing that I've been experimenting with lately, and that is I've been using a sponge, you know, a cleaning sponge here on the bridge. I'm going to do it in a second. But you have to pay attention that, first of all, whatever material that you use is not too tall or, or doesn't apply that much pressure to the strings because if it's, you know, if the pressure is too much, then there's gonna, you know, you're gonna raise the strings and you're gonna throw them off pitch. So you're gonna not be in intonation and that is a big problem. If there's not enough compression or the, or the material is too soft or, or too, too short to you know, fail on the strings, you know, you're not dampening at all. And the other issue as well is that you wanna try to apply the same amount of pressure to all the, same, to all the strings because sometimes, you know, the ease string is perfectly dampened but the G string sounds normal and so you gotta be you know you gotta try different widths and 
heights of the whatever material that you use. I know there are companies that specifically, you know, make base mutes like Nordstrand, the Nordy mute. Um, that's a different approach, but it's very interesting. I want to try that myself. Also, Groove Gear does one. I, I think there's another company. I'm gonna list them all in the description for you to check that out. But you know, if you want a cheap, easy solution, you can grab a cleaning sponge. I took off the you know the rough part. You can see the here. It's like I scrapped it. And you, just, you can just peel it off, and then that goes against the string because this part is softer, and I don't want to scratch the finish. So I'm gonna put it on, and you're gonna listen to the sound. I'm gonna record first without and then with so you can hear a comparison. One th good thing to do here is to Close the tone control a little bit. Like that, you get really thumpy sound. that really really unique sound and like I said you can experiment with different materials and um, you want to just you know quickly try it for yourself to see how it sounds like you can grab a cleaning sponge just like myself now let me demonstrate the same bass line with all the different muting techniques right <laughs> I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite method of muting the bass. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to your channel. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.